Welcome to the humanmanualonline.com. Um, this video is about the KU990, the LG Beauty, uh, about how to install and use the Opera Mini browser. So, first thing to do is push your unlock key on the side here twice um, if the phone's totally black. So, um, just like that. So, we press it twice, once, twice, brings the phone to life for you. Now you want to get into the browser and uh, there's two ways to do that. You can either rub your finger along the floating arrows and hit browser and that will depend on which software variant you are using. Um, alternatively, you can get into it by literally going through the menu. So menu, organization and then browser and then the browser will come up with some list of options here. Um, we've got Opera Mini stored as our bookmarks. The actual URL is um, http semicolon forward slash forward slash mini dot opera dot com. We'll put it on the screen for you now. Um, literally, we'll go into Opera Mini straight away and it will ask you which version you wish to download. Um, at this current time, um, 4.1 is the latest version. So, as soon as you see that, literally press Opera Mini Download Opera Mini um, and then it will start to go through the, in the, through the download for you. Now the application is untrusted, do you wish to continue? Yes. Um, older version of this file exists? Yes. That's if you have an older version of Opera already installed um, and then just press yes again. This will start to install everything for you and as you can see there it rapidly starts to install. Um, and within a few seconds it should reach 100%. There you are. Now it asks you, um, would you like to continue with the installation? Press yes. Um, and it will start to download the last bit of files. Now once it's finished installing, it either asks you, would you like to continue browsing using the normal browser, or would you like to launch the application? Press launch, and then press OK. And what you'll find is Opera Mini comes up. Now, as you can see, you've got these lower keys here which on the touch screen. And that's what happens when the phone doesn't recognize um, what Java program you're trying to install. So it gives you these default function keys here. So you get two soft keys, an up and down and left and right key, uh, a quick key to things like numbers, and you've got a confirmation key called OK. So this is how Opera Mini comes up on the screen. I'll just zoom in a bit there for you. Um, these are all set by Opera, so you'll have RSS feeds, Opera Community, MySpace, New York Times, and so forth. Now, if you wanted to go to a website, for instance, um, you can even use Google on here. So you can tap the Google link, um, and it will bring up some options for you. You can go directly to eBay, Wikipedia, Amazon. We're going to go straight into Google and type in here. Uh, let's go to, I don't know, the BBC, for instance. and then press OK, press OK again. It asks you all about this network confirmation access just in case you access it by accident. It will ask you, do you wish to give it authorization? Press OK or yes. Then it will start to connect for you, as you can see on the bottom. Um, as you can see, it brings it up quite rapidly, very, very easy to use. Things that we like about the Opera Mini browser is if we jump into the BBC's uh, portal, um, what you can do is quite easy you can still scroll through like you normally can do on the uh, normal LG browser um, when you press back it's very it's like it's stored in its cache and when it goes back it's really really quick when it goes back which um, most people will like if we choose another BBC website for instance, again, it will say connecting loads up very quickly. Um, if there's no graphics on the page, you would you wouldn't even realise. It will feel like you're surfing on a on a laptop or a PC, a computer of some kind. Uh, we will choose a link on here. Remembering that most websites now, all the, uh, the top websites have coding inside there to recognise whether you're coming from a mobile phone or not. So a lot of the time it will default, divert you to a mobile phone um, web page. Now menu wise going through here, as you can see you can go to enter address, you can go back to the start page, you can set your own bookmarks and you've got a list of tools here, things like page information, add bookmark, reload, 
find what you're looking for on the page which I think is quite good so you can put finding page um, and if we just put in there life because we're on the lifestyle page and then press OK no matches it will try and find something else again do you wish to try again you can choose yes or no I think it's really really good um, tools wise you can you can save the page if you wanted to you can go through your history or you can look at a list of settings now the settings here it says load images and you can choose to load or unload if you don't want to you can have it in low or high quality font size is always medium you can have it in what's called a mobile view if you wanted to um, so if you were to press OK there and then press save nothing really changes this is kind of like the mobile view here you're not really looking at major content um, if you jump back into settings uh, let's press OK there again um, appearance wise visual effects landscape mode so you can change it what mode you're in so we can tap landscape press OK um, you can choose to clear your cookies as well so now it's flipped it into landscape mode for you so if you've got a wide website it's quite good to see it from this angle um, and it kind of helps so that's pretty much the Opera mini browser everything from installation to how to use it um, it doesn't allow you to view flash websites things like um, YouTube um, we'll show you on here um, and I think the cool thing is when you switch it into landscape, the, it's almost as though the phone knows that this now becomes, rather than your left and right keys, it becomes your up and down keys, which is quite cool. Um, if we go here, enter, and we go to YouTube. Press OK. OK options okay it will now try and connect to the YouTube page so here we are actually on youtube.com and the thing is you saw the viewfinder if I tap it goes in further um, and then you can press back if you wanted to to zoom back out and that will allow you to zoom back out so I'm going to zoom in as we do tap here and we'll go to view it now because um, YouTube as you know uses things like JavaScript and um, heavy flash content it won't pick it up and this is the error message you get and as you can see it's quite fast loading on the YouTube page so here you are so it tells you here that you either have it switched off um, and it won't allow you to view YouTube um, whilst in here unfortunately uh, maybe some new version of Opera will allow you to have some kind of flash plugins, but it won't allow you to view that. So we just thought we would show you how to get into like YouTube or any other social networking site. But this was a video brought to you on the KU990 LG VUT on how to install and use the Opera Mini 4.1 browser. Thank you very much.